in yet another video in my continuing series of things that I have already made videos about. In this video, I will be talking about my favorite GMRS mobile antenna. For those of you that may be new to the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS, a mobile antenna is the kind of antenna that goes outside of your mobile mobile. A mobile antenna can be used with a built-in high power radio installed in your mobile mobile, or it can be connected to a handheld walkie-talkie radio and greatly extend your FARs when using that walkie-talkie radio inside of your mobile mobile. A mobile antenna is so versatile that you can even use one at home as part of your budget base station setup. However, before I go any further, as a YouTube's superstar, I feel that it is my duty, duty, to respond to some people that have been concerned, even angry, actually downright unhinged, because I speak of radio-related things, such as antennas, NFCC's rules, and so such and so on, without a ham radio license. Well, verily I say unto you, let not your heart be troubled, because I have this. And this makes me 100% just as qualified to talk about things on the YouTubes as anyone else. However, if you still decide to become angry or inflamed, then please accept this digital depiction of a vintage diagram that proves beyond any shadow of a doubt that the Earth is flat. Please accept this as a token of me not giving a shit about what you think. But I do hope we can still be friends and remember, always follow the science because the science can never be wrong. As you may have guessed already, my favorite mobile GMRS antenna is the Midland MXTA 26 antenna. The Midland MXTA 26 mobile GMRS antenna costs around $60 of monies. affiliate link below, and just to remove any confoculation, this Pacific antenna I paid for myself using my own monies that I saved up all by myself, just like a big boy, way back before I even had any supporting channel members. Supporting channel members are the viewers of my channel that love and adore me and my videos so much that they show their admiration and support by clicking the join or thanks buttons below. However, to be fair and to be completely transparent, in the past, I have received other items from the Midland Corporation at no cost. As you can see with your very own eye holes, the Midland MXTA 26 mobile GMRS antenna is black. And it is also very, very long. Thirty-two inches long to be exact. Now I know what you are thinking and you would be wrong. They are not all that long. But that is not what this video is about. As I just mentioned only moments ago, the Midland MXTA 26 antenna is long. It is 32 inches in total overall length from the bottom of the base to the tip. It has 6 dBs of gains and it is a 5 eighths wave antenna design. Now allow me to take just a moment to mention a few things about the gains and the waves design. 
normal GMRS users need not care about any of that technical babble speak. The only thing that a normal GMRS user really needs to worry about is whether or not the antenna is tuned for GMRS. And verily I say unto you that the Midland MXTA 26 mobile GMRS antenna is indeed tuned for and ready for use on the GMRS RF electricities. And I should also point out that this antenna can very easily handle all of the raw power that I pump through mine because this antenna is rated for up to 120 watts of RF electricities. And because the very most RF electricities that a GMRS radio can legally squirt out is 50 watts, this antenna is more than good enough for any normal GMRS user. And just to prevent any confoculation, just in case there is any lingering confocularity at this point, the Midland MXTA 26 mobile GMRS antenna is compatible with any GMRS radio. You cannot use it with your CB radio and you cannot use it with your ham radio. Well, technically you could, but it would not perform very well. The Midland MXTA26 GMRS Mobile antenna is not my favorite radio because it has more FARs than any other mobile GMRS antenna. Allow me to let you in on a secret that big GMRS does not want you to know. Pretty much all GMRS antennas of this type and of this design have the exact same amount of FARs. So shop around all you want. There is no brand of mobile GMRS antenna that is going to give you significantly more FARs than any other mobile GMRS antenna of this design. This is my favorite mobile GMRS antenna for a few other reasons. First of all, the Midland MXTA26 GMRS mobile antenna comes pre-tuned or GMRS RF electricities. There is no need to cut or trim or tune this antenna. You do not need to hook it up to any kind of fancy SWR meter, nor do you need to do any other kind of radio dork stuff. You simply take it out of the bag, connect it, and it works. And second of all, the Midland MXTA26 mobile GMRS antenna is also very well built. Unlike many of its cheap Chinese competitors, of which I will speak more of momentarily. The Midland MXTA26 mobile GMRS antenna has this very fancy little coil, which does not improve the FARs in any way. However, it does allow this antenna to be a few inches shorter than similar antennas tuned for the GMRS RF electricities. This may not matter to many people, but when you drive a very big and very manly Jeep, such as I do, when pulling into the garage, every inch counts. I have been using a Midland MXT26A mobile GMRS antenna on my Jeep for several years now, and verily I say upon you that the Midland MXTA26 mobile GMRS antenna is very flexible and very durable. The antenna has this very strong and very durable spring, which is very necessary if you are using it on a vehicle that does more than just drive to the mall. And after several years of my Jeep getting the literal shit beat out of it, mine has not cracked or leaked or rusted, all attributes that are very common with the cheaper Chinese knockoff antennas. The Midland MXTA26 mobile GMRS antenna has an NMO style mount. NMO stands for something, probably something important, and it is the standard type of mount for GMRS and even many ham radio antennas. So you can mount the Midland MXTA26 mobile GMRS antenna on a permanent mount, such as I have on my very big and very manly Jeep. And please allow me to take a moment to point out to all of the experts that have told me and have told countless others that you cannot mount an antenna on a Jeep on the rear tailgate because it will not work. To all of those experts, I ask one simple question. If it 
will not work when it is installed there, then please explain to me how I regularly get 20 miles of FARs or more on Simplex and how I was able to hit a repeater at 92 miles of FARs away. My friend, the answer is simple. The answer is because some people are completely incapable of grasping the difference between the term will not work and may not work optimally. What I am saying is you can mount this antenna pretty much anywhere on your vehicle and it will work plenty good enough for any regular GMRS user. And what I am also saying is that some people are idiots and should be ignored. Another mounting option is to use an NMO magnetic mount such as this. A magnetic mount is very simple to use. You simply screw the antenna on and it is a great non-permanent antenna mounting solution which you may find is better suited to achieve female spousal approval. You simply slap it onto the top of your car run the coax through the window or through the door sill, and when you're all done playing Radio Dork, you take it off and throw it all into the trunk. A decent NMO magnetic mount, or as us radio experts call it, a mag mount, will cost you anywhere from $20 to $100 of monies. I will leave an affiliate link below to several magnetic mount options available on the Amazons. In my career as a radio expert, I have used many mag mounts and there is no Pacific one that I prefer, so you can choose whichever one best suits your mag mount needs. However, you should be aware of one very important thing. Do not get one of those cheap small mag mounts. Those tend to blow right off of the car whenever you go more than 20 miles per hour, so be sure to read the reviews before you choose one and get one with a large base. As I mentioned only moments ago, you can also use the Midland MXTA 26 Mobile GMRS antenna in your home connected to a GMRS walkie-talkie radio or even a high-power GMRS mobile radio. However, to do so, you will need three things. Number A, you will need the antenna. Number three, you will need a radio. Number four, you will need some coax to connect them together. And number four, and most important, you will need a ground plane. In my office, I have a Wuxin Ocean KG-1000G Plus 50-watt mobile GMRS radio connected to this Pacific Midland MXTA-26 mobile GMRS antenna placed near my window. And for the ground plane, I use a simple cookie sheet. You can use any cookie sheet, pie pan, or sheet of metal as your ground plane. It does not have to be perfectly flat, and you only need a couple of inches of metal extending out around the base of the antenna to function as a ground plane. As you can see, I have very carefully measured and marked the exact center of my ground plane. And when placing a mag mount on your ground plane, you have to ensure that it goes on anywhere as long as there is at least an inch or so of metal sticking out around the bottom. And yes, you can use an aluminum cookie sheet However, your mag mount will not mag as well on an aluminum cookie sheet as it will on a steel cookie sheet. And finally, if you plan on using this antenna with your ham radio, all you have to do is adjust the bar.